Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is an RPG in a Box tutorial. Today, we'll be going over the Voxel Editor's animation toolbar. So let's open up RPG in a Box and get started. The animation toolbar is located under the 3D viewport and isn't visible unless you have a model currently open. I'm going to open up the Goblin model, which is included in the example content and located in the character section of the 3D asset tabs. Now that we have a model open, we can see the animation toolbar. Located first on the animation toolbar is frame number. The first number indicates the currently displayed frame, and the second number shows the total number of frames in the model. Clicking on the frame numbers will display a slider that can be used to quickly navigate through all the frames in the model. You can use this to scrub through the frames quickly to find a specific one, or to scroll through several frames in a row to see how they would look together without having to create and play an animation. After that is a section for four arrow buttons that move through the frames. The outside buttons that look like arrows with lines in front of them jump to either the first frame or the last frame. On the left is jump to first frame. Its hotkey is control plus up arrow. On the right is jump to last frame. Its hotkey is control plus down arrow. In the center are previous frame and next frame. Previous frame moves to the previous frame and its hotkey is control plus left arrow. Next frame moves to the next frame and its hotkey is control plus right arrow. Next, we have a little hourglass with a number next to it. This is the frame length multiplier. It changes how long the current frame will be shown when it's part of an animation. To demonstrate how it works, let's look at the goblin's attack animation, which occurs from frames 7 to 10. Now, let's say we want him to hold his spear out for a bit while attacking. So we'd find the frame where his spear is at the apex of its thrust, which is frame 10, and set the frame length multiplier to 5. So now frame 10 will be shown for 5 times longer when we play the attack animation, as if it were 5 frames long instead of just 1. The film strip with the green plus sign icon is insert new frame and clicking it adds a new blank frame after the current frame. Its hotkey is control plus N. Next is duplicate current frame. It creates a copy of the current frame. And its hotkey is control plus D. The film strip with the red minus icon is delete current frame. In clicking it, we'll delete the current frame. The film strip with the green arrow pointing left is move current frame left. Clicking it moves the current frame one frame to the left in sequence. Its hotkey is shift plus left arrow. The film strip with the green arrow pointing right is move current frame right. Clicking it moves the current frame one frame to the right in sequence, and its hotkey is shift plus right arrow. Next is the animation drop-down menu, which lets you select the current animation from a list of the model's saved animations. The green play button is play animation, and clicking it will play the selected animation. The green plus arrow is Add Animation. Clicking it opens up the Add Animation dialog to create new animations. The actual process of creating animations will be covered in a separate tutorial. The red minus is Remove Animation. Clicking it will delete the selected animation, but it does not delete the frames that made up the animation. And with that, we're finished learning about the animation toolbar. 
thank you so much for watching, commenting, subscribing, and for your continued support of RPG in a Box. You are awesome, and I hope that you have an awesome day. I will see you very soon with some more Voxel Editor tutorials, but until then, bye-bye!